This is the old station here. This is what it looks like. So it was quite small. And I believe they used this during the war as well. And the new station is much, much larger. But they've preserved this and they've kept it as a museum. So it has the same name. Arshava Guovna, I believe that's how you say it. And now it's a museum. So let's go in and take a look and see what we find. I think it's free on Monday, but today's a Sunday, but it's still only like three euros maybe to get in. So it's pretty cheap. So here it is. I believe you stay Stacha Museum, but I'm not sure. Oh, the price went up from online, 18. Okay, so I'm in the museum now. It costs 18 zwote, so that is $4 and change so we have a lot of models here but they actually have the train cars outside at least they showed online so these are the models here but i'm looking for the actual train cars could have came tomorrow and it would have been free but unfortunately I'm gonna be leaving and I wanna to go to the old town tomorrow. I'm gonna to be leaving on Tuesday morning. Ooh, look at that one. So how about this? From the World War it looks like. So you had a train car with a gun on it wow or was that to protect the trains so it looks like we have the old uniforms from the trains it's in Polish of course so this says Warsaw 1914 so Warsaw 1914 how about this behemoth here <laughs> what is that? It's got the Polish eagle, so it must have been Polish. If you like model trains, this is the place for you. Let's see what it says here. It's all in Polish, also. It says Brezina Pancerna Tatra T18. And some more of the uniforms. So I guess they're going up to the modern uniforms. I guess these were the military cars. Look at that. That is fortified there. It looks like some old pictures of the kids riding the train and the families. That's quite nice. Professor Alexander Vazutinsky, 1859 to 1944. Look at this with the Polish eagle on it. That is cool. We're in another room now. It says Fabrika here. So this is where they were building the tra trains, I believe, yes. So making them like the factory. So some of the Polish words you can kind of understand obviously fabrica so much a factory or fabrication Barovos, so I'm not sure what that is it's fun for me to try to figure out what they mean actually maybe this is original from the train station we have the clock So here's the wheels, what they look like. And here is the factory. That is a huge picture here of the factory. And then this looks like a part of a train here in the center of the room. So this is kind of nice, Casa. So it's like the ticket sellers, maybe like the cashier. 
So that is very nice. So luckily there was a family here and the guy spoke English because I would have been completely lost where to go. He said to go out this way. Oh, it continues here, okay. Fantastic. PKP Cargo. So I think that is the train company. What it stands for, I don't know. Okay, so it continues here. So you can see the trains, the old style there with the coal burning out on the track. Oh, so it, it's very, okay, and you can go outside here. Okay, that's what I was looking for. So we have some of the old banners. So it's quite complete. It's quite complete here. Showing you all the different trains. It's quite fascinating. We're gonna go outside and see some of them actually. What they look like. You've got the uh, Polish Eagle there. So it must have been something on the trains. You can see they look quite old. So this was on the track, I think to switch tracks maybe, or maybe to warn the trains. You can see the man there pulling it. And what is this? That definitely looked like it was in the train. Is that to shift gears? Or to sh shift tracks possibly. So all the gears and the workings in the train. How about this? Wow, there was actually a lot to it. There's actually more to it than you would think. So it's not just sitting there at the wheel. And how about that? They had the, even the dining cars back then. Look at that. They traveled in style. Wow. That is fantastic. Look at that. And I still like traveling that way today. This looks even fancier. This was on the train? I think this was in the station. Wow, look at this. That is a huge model there. So here's the ticket sellers, I guess. I'll take one ticket to Wrocław. <laughs> Proche. Reception maybe? I think this might maybe how the reception looked. Wow, this was stylish here. So this is where you would relax while you're waiting for the train. You even got a nice painting here. That must be the station. And keep in mind, this station is still going. It's still running today. It's just not here, it's nearby, the new station. Okay, so let's head on out and we can see the actual trains. Look at this, here's the engines. Look at that massive engine. So that's me and that's the engine. Whoa, massive. We need a big engine to power. The engine is close to the size of a small car. Obviously to power one of these big trains I think you can go into some of the cars here is this one open no this is closed but I think you can go in some of them so we can peek on inside and you can kind of see what they look like they're quite plush looking they had some nice CD in there they're very plush looking Wow I hope one of them is open because you were really going in style. Those were the days of riding in complete luxury. I'm sure mostly the rich used the train back then. And how about this? You, you travel with protection. Oh my gosh. Wow. 
Look at this. So this must have been a military train, obviously. Look at the gun on that. Oh my God. Does it say in English? Armored locomotive. Diesel locomotive was built in Germany in 1942 for the Wehrmacht in Berliner. Maschinenbau, AG, former L, Schwarzkopf. Only three armored engines were produced. Locomotive was the heaviest vehicle used by Wehrmacht during the Second World War. In 1944, this train was taken over from Germans on southern east of Poland by Russians and afterwards delivered to Polish army in 1947. It took part in Wisla operation. The train was used until the end of the 1960s. In 1974, it was delivered to the Railway Museum in Warsaw. That is fantastic. This was actually used in battle by the Germans and captured by the Russians. And now it's here in this museum. Unbelievable. This is living history. Talk about armored vehicle. Wow. And it's still in pretty good condition. Look at this. I never even thought that they had armed locomotives, but I guess they had in the war. But here it is. Obviously they did because we can see it. Look at that. It looks like a submarine almost. It's so well armored. So we can see some of the old trains. And of course we see the PKP, which I saw in there with the Polish Eagle. So it must stand for Polish something, Polska. And this car looks like it's open. It is open, so we can go inside of here. So let's go on in. <laughs> yeah, guys, I love this stuff. I love this stuff. This is fascinating. This is why we travel. So it's in Polish. We we'll see the conductor. He definitely looks like an old railway man. Whoa. I thought it was a guy at first. <laughs> How about that? We got a mannequin here. Is this what it used to look like? How about that? How about that? We're inside the old train car. What it used to look like. Here's the toilet. Actually, the size hasn't changed too much. Well, it's gotten a little bit bigger. about this this is absolutely fascinating oh. who's this man push ta I thought he was police at first but I'm not sure maybe he's a train police maybe the ticket man Was non. Is there a date there? Unbelievable, guys. This is fascinating. So we're in a wagon. Absolutely fascinating. I love this stuff. And I asked at the cafe about this, and they didn't even know about this place. So Sometimes you gotta find them on your own. So there's the PKP. So this one looks like it was restored. So there it is again, the Warsaw Głowna. How about that? The old station, you can see the horses there. Is there another one we can go into? Yeah, we can go in here too. How about this? Look at this. These are the seats. Look at this for your luggage. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I love this. This is so cool. Is this the same carpet? You can see the PKP. So they hauled a lot of, even these uh, machines here. Heavy machinery for mining. 
yeah, without the railroads, a lot of this stuff is not possible. It is quite useful and amazing. Wow, look at that, guys. Look at that. Wow. Look at this. How about that? You've got the old locomotive there. And we can go around to the other side. We're going to see that better. This is what I came to see. The inside was nice, but this is what I came to see. And I heard a train firing up over here. So the, the other station must be in the distance. Oh, it's over here. So that must be the new station there, the new train line. Look at this. You can't go here, but look at this. Basically a graveyard for trains. Where they go to die or to become a museum. You can see these were the old tracks here. Look at this. This is fascinating. Look at this baby. And here's the new station next door apparently or one of the lines. Oh yeah, this is cool. This is cool. Still not in English. Wow, look at the size of this baby. Look at the size of this baby. Now that is a locomotive. How about that? Look at that behind me. Look at that. It dwarfs me. And we've got some more over here. Look at that. Wow. These would, these would have been state of the art in the day. And even today, they're still impressive. Look at the size of those wheels. Look at the size of those wheels. Oh my gosh, they must be... They must be five feet tall. The wheels, four to five feet tall. Oh, you can go in this one. We gotta go inside. <laughs> we gotta go inside here. Look at this. I'm the king of the railway yard. Travelatic guy bringing you the coolest videos about trains, old trains in Poland, in Warsaw, Poland. How about that? So here is the engine for this baby. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a steam room in a ship, in a Navy ship. That's what it looks like, a huge ship. So you had to open and close all of these. Wow, look at that. That is letting the steam closing or opening. Look at this. You've got all these. You had to know what to do with all this stuff. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You would put the coal in here. So the coal was in there. You were stoking this. You had to keep stoking the fire with coal. And you're producing the steam and that was powering the engine. So it wasn't the cleanest process, but it was very, very effective. It was quite effective. That's fascinating to go inside of there. So these are all PKP. Look at this, look at this. And this is the old tracks. This is where you would have got the train in the old days. It's all in Polish, but I can see it was manufactured in 1951, it looks like. So this was manufactured in 1951. So after World War II, but during the communist era. So these are communist era trains. These are fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Look at these. I don't know where to look next. I don't know where to look next. This is absolutely fascinating. I think this is well worth the 40 euro price of coming in here, $4.50. If you come on Monday, it's absolutely free. This one in English? Oh, it's in English. Diesel locomotive. So serial number 53, manufactured in 1965. Electric. Wheel diameter, wheel sets 
1050 millimeters maximum speed 100 kilometers that's not bad though 100 kilometers at that time that is not bad this one looks in very good condition i don't know if it was restored but it looks like it's in very very good condition and perfectly the sun is poking its head out we need that and here we're protected by the trains from the wind there's even trains on the other side oh my gosh so this one's in english sm25 is a diesel three axis shunting locomotive with hydraulic transmission transmission manufactured by fablock factory designation 90 issued by the polish state railway pkp the locomotive was able to drive multiple times. You can fasten two or three locomotives together and control them from one cabin. And three axle drive with blind shaft. In the years 1961 to 1963, three prototype units were built. All of them operated at the Krakow Płaszow station. In 1973, the trial period was completed. The Polish State Railways was removed from the state and transferred to work in the industry. How about that? So this was working in Krakow. This train came from Krakow. Look at this. So they're not all from Warsaw. They just ended up here to retire. This is fabulous that they have this museum, I'll have to say. So how about this? They had the smokestacks. This is where that smoke would have billowed out at one time. This one also looks like it is in almost new condition. It must have been restored. It looks like it could run today, like no problem. When is this one from? 1923. So this one is from 1923, steam locomotive TR-639. It was manufactured by Link Hoffman Laukhammer, AG Breslau. Steam locomotive of Prussian origin, known as G82 series designation. Built between 1919 and 1926. Seeing it like this, it makes you want to learn more about the history of this region. Just seeing this, this is living history as opposed to seeing it in a book. I think that's the best way we can get people interested in history, young people, or anybody actually, is to show them things like this because it is absolutely fascinating. Look at this. How can you not love this? And then you've got the skyscrapers in the background. So we have the old and the new right here. This one says it's from Dynsk. From Dynsk, that is in north of Poland. I need to get there eventually. I think it would actually be cool to live in Poland. And there are a lot of people that speak English here. I would be close to a lot of places. I'd be close to Slovakia, Czech Republic, and other parts of Poland. I think this could be a good base. The sun is coming out, starting to warm up. Feels great. So we can go inside this one. What is this? So this must have been, look at this, look at the destruction. This must have been from the war. Look at all the destruction. Or is that from a crash? Either that or a train crash. Whoa, that might have been a train crash there. Look at that. Whoa, look at these train crashes. I'm sure they must have been spectacular back then when it was new, when the railways were new. Let's go on inside this train. And this is like a museum in here. This is amazing, this is a museum in here. Wow, they've done a great job. They've done a great job preserving this history, I'll give them that. You guys have done a great job here. Preserving this history for future generations. I wish there were more people here. I'm sure they do bring kids here and things. But if you're coming to Poland, if you're coming to Warsaw, and you're interested at all in history or trains, you should come here. You should definitely come here. And you can see it's not too far from the very center. And it's close to the station anyway. Or one of the stations in Warsaw. Showing these trains in in use 1942 look at that look at that whoa who's that oh my god that looks like adolf 
What? Was he in these trains? Was he in one of these trains? Oh my gosh, look at this. Is that Adolf, guys? What? I've got to look at this more now. They did mention some Germans with these trains. 1944. Barwood. That is crazy. If that's what I thought it was, I'm going to have to take a picture of that. I hate to think it, but I wonder if some of these trains were used to transport Jews to the concentration camps. It just crossed my mind seeing that picture. I hate to think. Is it the crash? It seemed like the crashes were pretty common back then. I think you took your chance riding the train at that time. I'm not very good in English. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so there's a man here, he's gonna translate what this is actually for me. Uh, uh, there was uh, some action uh, made by uh, resistance in, Pol in Poland. Okay. And um, <coughs> this uh, resistance, uh, they um, goal was to intercept uh, uh, or to destroy uh, as many uh, trains, uh, okay. trains, trains uh, as they could, and uh, one of the um, biggest actions uh, was to intercept the um, the transport with Hitler. Oh, okay. Wow. Mm. So they were trying to assassinate him? Yes, they tried to organize, uh, yes, uh, to, to destroy or inter intercept the, the, the train wow. that was transport, transporting Hitler. Wow. Okay, and this was in 1942? Yes. Wow. Okay. All right, thank you so much. That is fascinating history there. They managed to destroy the uh, the train. Okay. Uh, there were a lot of SS soldiers, uh, so um, the resistance uh, managed to destroy the uh, the train. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, the resistance um, they had to re retreat. They had to retreat. Okay. Yeah. And who were the resistance? You mean the Polish? Yes. Okay. Uh, Aka. Polish army? Polish army, yes, Polish, Polish army. army, but uh, underground. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yes, okay. This is uh, uh, Armia Krajowa. Did you know about this? Or? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. So there's a man, he's with his family, he's a very kind. I met both the family and they have a little son. And he was the one doing the translation for me. So how about that? The Polish resistance, they tried to end Adolf during the war how about that that would have changed a lot if they had managed to succeed in 1942 that would have saved a lot of lives for sure they were able to kill some of the ss this is the smallest one i've seen so there's one more row to see there's one more engine to see this almost looks like it was something out of the future but it's older. There's a kid here. They love the trains, of course. What does it say about this one? Steam locomotive, 1940. So it was German Railway Standardized Express Steam Locomotive. Wow, in 1939, they produced 10 units. So this is from the German railway, or that one was anyway. And there, next door, is the modern line there. Goes into the station, or stops near the station. 
this has been absolutely fascinating. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. I learned a lot here about the trains and about the history of Poland. So we'll see you in the next video. I travel addict, the guy. Take care of you, one.